Evening, guys. Welcome to Football Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading a love during this pandemic because we all need a little bit of loving, guys. We all need a little bit of loving. Now, before I go any further, please like, share and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Remember, subscription is free. If you haven't done it yet, then hit that subscribe button right now. I'm waiting. I'm still waiting. Yeah, I've seen you do it right now. Okay. Now, <laughs> what I'm going to... The information I'm going to tell you guys right now, I want you to take on board. Because in a few months to come, and you have uh, a fine in which you may have to pay, I don't want you saying, Oh, you, you did tell me, Brownie. Uh, but I didn't take in, uh, any notice of your information. Okay. It has come to light during a retweet of uh, football finance expert Kira Maguire, who we are a lovely guy we've had on the channel before. Uh, he's retweeted um, a report which ran out today, which states that both Sky and BT have agreed with the Premier League to try and cut down on copyright material or privacy with uh, on the internet. You no know, copywriting of BT uh, of Premier League games. So the report goes on to say Sky Broadband is monitoring IP addresses of servers suspected on streaming pirated content and supplying the data to anti-privacy companies working alongside the Premier League. That inside knowledge was then processed and used to create block lists used by the, the country's leading ISPs to prevent subscribers from watching pirated events. It's also then given to <coughs> the High Court to get injunctions and basically they go on, they, it's an attempt then for companies such as the Premier League, Maximum Boxing and Queensbury Promotions to take action against uh against the people who are watching um, illegal streams and that could be you or me. Um, the report then goes on it says codenamed Redbeard codenamed Redbeard in recent weeks an anonymous source has shared a small trove of information relating to systems used to find and positively identify ISPs who are found to be uh, downloading illegal streamed sporting material. Um, it then goes on to say most of it uh, is for football matches and pay-per-view events. Um, it also goes on to say uh, ISPs provide lists of top talking IP addresses. These are the IP addresses that they see on a network which many consider to be receiving a large sum of bandwidth from one or two documents. Now, People, I've mentioned this to a couple of people today and they just say, oh, get a VPN, get a VPN. Uh, unfortunately, the cheaper v VPNs, mainly the free VPNs, uh, wouldn't touch any of this. Okay? Um, so, I think the best way, the best way, um, would be to change internet provider. It may well be slightly more expensive. 
But if you are one of those people who who uh, goes on to the likes of He's, He's Goal or, or any other uh, similar websites to watch football, then um, then I don't think you should be subscribing to Sky or, or BT anymore. What I will do, I'll be putting a link to this uh, report in the description. But please, 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 guys. If you are... Um, if you are a customer of both BT or Sky and you do a legal stream, please, please, take care of yourself. L read this report in which I have in front of my eyes. Read it in your own time. But, um, try treat it quite seriously. Because there, there's sums in which some of these people have been fined. Uh, you're talking tens of thousands. Okay. Take care, guys. Hasta luego. Remember, Brown, Brownie loves you, and he's trying to take care of you on this one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>